Ja und somit herzlich willkommen zu diesem neuen Reaction Video hier auf dem Kanal. Da wir ja vor kurzem erst das Assassin's Creed Mirage Gameplay Video angeschaut haben, würde ich sagen, schauen wir uns heute das Developer Gameplay Breakdown an. Da sprechen also die Developer, also Ubisoft, über das Gameplay und erzählen uns ein bisschen mehr darüber. Ich bin gespannt darauf, von daher, let's go! Mal schauen, was uns da noch Hello, Neues erzählt wird. Hi there, I'm Stefan Boudon, Creative Director on Assassin's Creed Mirage and today we are going to walk you through our most recent trailer. Welcome to Baghdad. This is our first glimpse of this vibrant city. We are in the 9th century Middle Ages and, as you can see, it's a dusty and sunny city as expected. But it's also a garden city with a lot of flowers and palm trees. So Basim is heading back to the bureau. In the way, he stumbled on a specific target he has to kill, so he will uh, take this opportunity to make the assassination. But he will uh, quickly get into trouble. Yeah, and as we can see, we can uh, already distinguish our first regular enemies, which are the Caliphal Guard uh, guys in red. You're going to uh, meet a lot of them. In the game, we, we encourage you to flee and to vanish. Basim uh, is a glass cannon character and uh, this scaffolding ingredient is really one of the ways players have to get out tight situation like that. Mm -hmm. This is a water city, it's unexpected, many people think it's just dust and sand. We can see now corner swings, good old vibes from previous AC games, the first AC games, we are a love letter to uh, the very first one. Ja, das, das sieht man. And here is a carpet. If you, if you don't blink, uh, you can see there is an Assassin's Crest just here. Carpets are, are part of the, the world of, uh, of Mirage. This specific carpet with the Assassin's Crest on it uh, means you are very, very close to a secret entrance to an Assassin's Bureau. Ah, okay, spannend. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. So in this scene, uh, Basim is coming back from his first assignment for killing uh, one of the main targets of the game. Alhamdulillah, a first of many achievements to come, Basim. You, we meet uh, Abu Jafar. Uh, this is one of the historical characters we're going to meet in Assassin's Creed Mirage. He's a genius, he's a very important, he's going to provide you good tools. There's still much work to do. While our focus was on Al Ghul, Fula quietly scouted the city for where we could erect more bureaus. I have found dwellings in three districts that are most unassuming. Ebid and Rebecca have arrived from Alamut and set off to Al Abbasia and Garch. I will make my way to Sharqia shortly. And I will join Rebecca in Karch, where corruption is as common as the arid air. See Abu Jafar about some things he's been working on. Then come find us. Have a look, Basim. I may have something that is of interest to you. Tools are very important for an assassin. They will uh, help you to deal with complex situations you will encounter in, inside the game. You will have the possibility uh, to this unlock a new tool each time thanks, you Abu climb Jafar. a rank by fulfilling uh, your assignments. Okay, da hab ich, das habe ich mich nämlich schon gefragt. Tool can be upgraded as well through a skill tree, where you will be able to choose the behavior of your tools to match your playstyle. For instance, you can decide to make the projectile of your blood dart damage your enemies, put them to sleep, or turn them berserk. So, wenn man den Rank aufsteigt, kann man also diese where, uh, Tools anlocken. All the side faction assignments, each of them uh, has a specific contractor request also. You might recall from a past game and you can try to fulfill them to gain more rewards. You can find materials for your tools and your uh, gear, but you can find also a specific token that will help you to open new opportunities inside the, the mission of Basim. The lighting in Baghdad was the first thing we set up with the artistic 
team, we wanted to have it right and not to use too much filters and have a kind of uh, natural beauty of the lighting, which is really giving some gorgeous point of views on the city itself at every time of day. So we, here you can have a glimpse of that. What do you see, Enkidu? From a personal perspective, I, I grew up in this place of the world and it was really the first thing I want us to to be good at was the lighting, to give me the feeling to be back here. And uh, I think we achieved that. So Eagle Vision is very iconic in Assassin's Creed, but for us, it was also a necessary tool to bring back the stealth, moment to moment uh, gameplay. So you will more rely on your Eagle Vision when it's come to do infiltration, look out for guards or check uh, their vision cones. And uh, those uh, vision cones are uh, new to Assassin's Creed uh, Mirage. Social stealth is back. You can use it organically. Or you can bribe also merchants group to create a patrol blending opportunity to infiltrate specific areas. When we crafted Mirage, we wanted to be able to change tools quickly to face any situation. That's why we created this wheel, very reactive, very immersive, and that will slow down time to let you react. Ist mir jetzt gar nicht aufgefallen, dass das Rad zum ersten Mal drin ist. Here is a marksman above the tower, and it's uh, why we cannot use Enkidu, uh, so we will need to get rid of him. Basim used the noisemaker to distract the, the first guard, but the noisemaker is very noisy and can attract multiple NPC in a given radius. So Basim here quickly reacts with one of his uh, skills, letting him the opportunity to use a knife to do a double assassination and avoid very uh, efficiently to spread the alert. And now it's time to take down the pesky marksman and to enjoy again the use of our eagle and Kidu and to enjoy also the view. We are actually above the Prince Palace, close to the Tigris River. And uh, we are not just here to enjoy the scenery, but we have a target to find. And here it is. Assassin Focus is a new ability for Basim that allows him to quickly chain assassination. It's really a showcase of Basim's incredible agility and mastery. But of course, it's not something you can use at will. Basim will need to perform stealth skills to fill up his assassin focus gauge to use this ability. Here we can see Basim playing his assassination, but just before striking, he will uh, land a, a trap. And I fall. And that's Mr. Wither. Here comes the ND red smoke bomb. I love the color. That's uh, my favorite tool. And that's the end of our walkthrough. We hope you learned something new. And we cannot wait for you to play Assassin's Creed Mirage when it comes out in October 12th. Okay, viele neue Infos gab es nicht dazu, die wir nicht selber herausfinden konnten. Aber trotzdem schön, dass es das gibt. Das mit dem Teppich finde ich noch interessant. Das heißt, denn, wo es gibt in der ganzen City mehrere kleine Assassinenbüros, so gesehen. Und anhand diesen, dieses Teppiches kann man die also finden. Und sich da wahrscheinlich auch verstecken oder neu ausrüsten. Hört sich spannend an. Ja. Genau. 
Ähm, dann würde ich sagen, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen hier. Und bis zum nächsten Mal. Haut rein. Tschüss.